Hello friends, today we are going to talk about AWS SNS which is nothing but simple notification service. In our previous video we have uh, already seen about uh, AWS Lambda and uh, then we have seen from once we upload something in S3 bucket how that event is getting triggered. Okay, so that we did it using Lambda. But uh, there is something called as SNS which is simple notification service and there we can create one topic and we can have uh, multiple subscriber over there okay so we are going to uh, basically see all the how to create one topic and from AWS console then how to subscribe some mail ID or whatever it is from console itself and the same thing then how to publish the message and how to get the notification from there okay so we'll see that from console as well as we'll do that using Java SDK okay so let's get started then Okay, so just for your understanding, what is SNS, Simple Notification Service? You, you guys might have already worked on any of the notification service where you used to send mail using uh, any Java mail API or any, any of the mailing API, right? So here it is something Amazon SNS which supports notification and where we can create one SNS topic. So what is topic? Topic is something where you can post the data or publish the data whatever be the data right whether it is in which protocol okay it can be in email or it can be http or it can be in some other protocol so what you can do it can be sms as well okay right sms is one channel another is email another is http so using different channel you can publish one message Okay, so what, whatever be the message, the, the message can be simple text or the message can be JSON format. And then this topic, there will be multiple subscriber for this. Okay, and in the right side, if you see here, there can be different subscriber, right? AWS Lambda itself can subscribe to this one. In our previous video, we have seen how to subscribe from S3, right? But here, AWS Lambda, you can subscribe to this SNS topic. Then one of the famous one is which is Amazon SQS. So let's say you publish something to this topic that means some some channel or some carrier you can say where you publish the message and there will be n number of subscriber and all of them can get notified okay and they are going to let's say you push some data and that data they are going to consume it and they can process that let's say you placed one order in amazon or any flipkart or any of the e-commerce correct so the same order details is going to different department it can go to shipping department it can go to uh, account it can go to uh, billing all those right so the same order that json you will publish it to sns topic and that topic will be subscribed by all the subscriber that means all the department and they can process it okay so then let's get started quickly let's go to console and to search any of the services you can just come here and search for it okay so you can search for sns and it is going to open the sns console so if you see here how many topics are there zero and how many subscription are there okay maybe i have one subscription without topic subscription that doesn't matter so let me delete it okay so now go back to the landing page here it is asking you can create one topic okay so create topic topic is nothing but where we can publish the message correct so let's give my demo email topic click on next step then here you can give anything okay then these things you can leave it default click on create topic once you created the topic here you can see below we can see the subscription tab right so in this subscription what you can do you can add the subscription okay so let's do one thing let's as because this is one email topic i have mentioned let's create one subscription and where we can select you can see here right different protocol http https email email json then amazon sqs aws lambda we have seen right so let's go ahead and quickly see for our mail one okay you give your mail id here protocol should be email 
and then click on create subscription. What it says is the ARN of the subscription is this one. Okay, this is nothing but the ARN. ARN means Amazon resource name. Okay, and here you can see pending confirmation. That means you have added that email ID. Okay, as subscription, but but whoever email ID you have given right, he has to confirm the subscription. Then only will be able to send mail. Or else there is no point, right? You can add anyone and you can send them mail and you can just block their mail server itself. So that's why whatever be the subscription you are adding, they have to confirm it. So to do that, you just need to go to your mail. And if you see here, my demo email new, what it is saying, you have chosen to subscribe to this topic. This is the ARN. And to confirm the subscription, click here. At any point of time, if you want to opt out, you can click here. So let's go ahead and just click on confirm subscription. And now the status should get changed to confirmed. If you go here, okay, let's go back to this topic. And if you see here, now the status got changed to confirm. That means now if you publish any message, our subscriber is going to be notified. Correct? So let's do that. Click on public message, publish message here. Then whatever is the subject, uh, test SNS. Okay. This is a test mail from AWS SNS. Okay. And you can give the time to leave all those things, but I am leaving it blank as of now. And click on publish message. Message published to topic successfully okay so once you publish the message that that means what should happen it is subscriber right that means any any message got published automatically the subscriber should get notified so if you come here if you see here we got the mail test sns and this is a test mail from aws sns correct so this is how it's very simple you can just configure here and you can send notification to all your subscribers. So like that, if you want to add multiple subscribers, you can again click on create subscription, again click on different protocol, not only email or if you want to send to multiple people, you can give the group itself, group email or you can add as many as. And these different protocols you can add over here. Okay. So we have seen how to do it from console. Correct. Now let's do it from Java. The same thing, let's do it from java okay so let me go <coughs> excuse me let me go to my topic and here this is the arn correct so let me go back and to use sns from uh, sdk what you need to do first of all as we have already seen for all our previous video we need to add the dependency and in this case these are the two dependencies that you need to add in order to work with aws sns which is nothing but aws java sdk dot slash sns and aws java sdk sqs okay so i have added this sqs for now because later we are going to use it for sns this is the only one enough okay maybe in our later video we are planning to use sqs and whenever one topic will be one one message will be published to the topic it is going to be subscribed by one queue okay so for sns this is the one you need to add it okay so now it's very simple like uh, if you remember if you have coded for any java mail api or something you need to do lots of configuration right and here it's very simple it is you just need to add the topic ar and email that means the ar and here it is displayed right okay so this ar and you need to specify over here Then this is the subject and this is the email message. Okay. And now to create one SNS client, it's very simple again. SNS client builder dot standard dot build. The way we did it for SNS S3 client, like uh, Lambda, all those things. This is also Amazon SNS client builder dot standard dot build. And it is going to return you the SNS client. And once you got the SNS client, then you can just call the publish method, which will take three arguments and that is topic ARN email 
and based on this ARN only it will identify the topic then the email message what you want to publish and whatever is the subject okay that's all now you just run it it is done now let's If you see here, we already received that mail. This is a test SNS notification mail and messages. We are able to successfully trigger SNS notification. So it's very simple. The API is also very convenient and very simple. It is not complicated. You just need to just build the SNS client and you can call it. Now we have seen that, but before like to do this already the ARN got created topic got created and subscriber already you have created correct but but you may never know that how to do it from code itself because you may need to do it you may need to add one subscriber from code you may need to create one topic from code itself so how to do that let's quickly see that one as well okay so let me do one thing create Amazon SNS topic okay First of all, you need to create one create topic request object and there you need to specify the topic name. Then SNS client dot create topic and you need to pass that create topic request. And that's all. It is going to create the topic. Then we need to get the ARN, right? So for that, how to get the ARN? We'll just print the ARN. Okay. Create topic response we received right here create topic response dot get topic ARN and this will return you the topic ARN which we are displaying over here and next part is what we are doing here is the request ID for the create topic request that also we are printing okay next is how to create one now you have created the topic correct this is done here you have created this one the way we did it in Amazon console here also we created one topic then once topic got created you need to add the subscription right so here you can add the subscription using the same way you got the ARN subscribe request it takes three argument first one is ARN then which protocol and whatever with the mail id as because we are specifying email so this is the subscription correct and this is the mail id i have given so let me do it let me i have opened my another mail also so no issues and now subscribe request okay so let's do one thing let's comment this we are not going to publish that one and now it should be able to create one topic. Let's run it first. Okay, I think now it is done. Okay, so if you see here. Again, we got that mail right because we subscribe from Java. Whatever it is, if you are adding any subscription, that subscriber, whoever is there, right, he has to confirm or else you cannot do it. So, I will confirm this one. Something went wrong. Not able to subscribe. Notification. Let me delete it. And let me run it again. Okay. Now let's click on this one. If it is working or not. Okay. Now the subscription got completed. 
and same thing if you go over there right in console also we should be able to check another topic should get created correct my email topic from java here if you see we have given the name my email topic from java and the other topic got created topic got created as well as one subscription should be added which is nothing but this one which we specified from our java code right the same thing is getting reflected over here so now subscription are also done the next part is we are going to publish the message okay so to do that let's publish it and here i will specify uh, let me copy this as well from java we will specify something else so that we will differentiate it okay so i think till here we are already done right topic is already available now so let me just comment this line okay let me just call i think i need this one okay i think topic here and we could have run it at that time only but to okay, get let's do one thing topic here and anyways we can copy it from here for now let me hard code it okay and now let's run it once this is done we should be getting one email to my another mail id okay this one if you go back if you see here we received the mail we are able to create topic subscribe to the topic and publish the topic from java test sns notification if you see here i have specified this one from java the same thing we received over there correct so you have seen right this is very convenient for any notification and all, all those things you can try it out it is within free tier and in your application also to use it it's very convenient you can just um, have those dependency and then it's very simple you can create topic you can add subscriber you can just publish those okay and different protocols are also available if you are going to do it in your uh, code for from the scratch for anything java mail or any other notification queue services it is going to take lots of effort right but aws if you are using aws it's very convenient okay so guys uh, in this video we have seen sns maybe in next video i'll plan for sqs which is simple queue service and combinedly we can see okay so if you guys have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel please do subscribe it so that you will get notified and don't forget to click on that bell button okay so that you will get notified for the next video and we can continue if you have any queries or anything please uh, do post it here in my video and uh, i can we can discuss on that okay thanks for watching the video